The name of this tutorial is Blender 2.5 Object Origin Center Tutorial. Each object in Blender has a center point. In 2.5, this is called the Object Origin. In Blender 2.49, the origin was called the Object Center, although the problem is that the Object Origin is not always at the center, which can cause problems, as we'll see shortly. Let's add a monkey. Shift A, Mesh, Monkey. Move the monkey with the G key so that the monkey displays separately from the cube. Select the cube object. Make sure the cube is in object mode. If not, press the tab key. Turn off the translate manipulator widget. Zoom in a bit. The cube center point or origin is the small pink dot at the center of the cube. By default, it's not visible unless the object is selected. To see all the object origins, whether or not the object is selected, press the N key to bring up the Properties panel of the 3D viewport. Check the Display All Object Origins checkbox towards the bottom of the display. If the checkbox is not selected, only the object origin of the selected object displays. Press the Z key to go into wireframe mode. Here's the object origin. Turn on the Translate Manipulator widget. The widget is located at the object origin where the object is selected. You can move the cube along the x-axis in red, the y-axis in green, or the z-axis in blue using the translate manipulator. Hold the shift key down and click on the rotate manipulator widget. This adds the rotate manipulator to the translate manipulator. The rotate manipulator is also located at the object origin. The object rotates relative to position of the object origin along the X, Y, or Z axis. Now hold the Shift key down and click on the Scale Manipulator widget. This adds the Scale Manipulator widget, which is also located at the object origin. The object scales relative to the X, Y, or Z axis. Switch back to the Translate Manipulator widget. Tab into Edit Mode. Deselect all the vertices by pressing the A key. Go to Front View, Numpad 1. Box select all the vertices, move them to the right. Now the object origin is not in the center of the object. This is what happens when you manipulate object subcomponents in edit mode. Select all the vertices and move them all in edit mode. Tab into object mode, and now the object origin is not even inside the object. There is no method to select the object origin. However, there is a command to move the origin to the center of the object. From the Object menu, select Transform, then Origin to Geometry. This command moves the object origin point to the center of the object's geometry. The shortcut is Shift, Control, Alt, C. In 2.49, this command was called Center New, and it was activated by pressing a button. It's good modeling practice to set the object origin to the center of the object. To do that easily, you can create a tool button to set the origin, similar to Center, Center New, and Center Cursor in 2.49. Click the Add Tool button, type in Set Origin, select Set Origin from List. Now there's a tool button to set the object's origin. Tab into Edit Mode, leave the origin point behind. Set the Origin Tool button, now setting Origin to Geometry. Now the origin is at the center of the object. To summarize, making sure that the origin point of your object is where you want it to be, usually at the object center, can prevent you from getting unexpected results when you're modeling. Happy blendering!